Hi, it's me, Josh, again. I hope y'all have been enjoying the stories I've been reading, and I know that I have. But tonight, we're going to finish off the story about a puppy wanting a boy for Christmas. Now, if you remember to the last part of the story that we read, this puppy was going around, and he found a collie who he was asking... Do you want to give your boy away? And we're about to come up and see what the collie's response is going to be. What do you think it's going to be? Will it be yes? Will it be no? And if it's no, what's the dog going to do? Is, is he going to give up? Or is he going to find another way? Let's find out. But the collie said, no, he definitely didn't, in a dreadful tone of voice. Petey sat down. He watched the collie and his boy until they were out of sight. I didn't really want a boy on a bicycle anyway, said Petey. After a while, he saw a red setter playing ball with a boy. Petey was just delighted. If I had a boy to play ball with, said Petey, I'd catch the ball smack in the mouth. But he remembered how cross the collie had been, so he sat down on the sidewalk and called out politely, Excuse me, do you want to give your boy away? But the setter said, No, he definitely didn't, in a terrifying tone of voice. Oh well, said Petey, trotting off. I don't think playing ball is much fun anyway. After a while, he met a Scotty walking with his boy and carrying a package in his mouth. Now that is a good kind of boy, said Petey. If I had a boy to carry packages for, there might be some dog biscuit or cookies in the package. But he remembered how cross the collie and the setter had been. So he stayed across the street and shouted at the top of his lungs, but polite as could be, Excuse me, do you want to give your boy away? The Scotty had his mouth full of package, but he managed to say, No, he definitely didn't, and he showed his sharp teeth at Petey. I guess that wasn't the kind of boy I wanted either, said poor Petey. But my goodness, where will I find a boy? Well, Petey went on and on, up busy streets, dodging the cars, looking in stores and around corners, down quiet lanes where dogs rushed to their fences and yelped at him. He asked every dog politely, but he couldn't find a single dog who would give his boy away. Petey's ears began to droop. His tail grew limp. His legs were so tired. My mother was right, he thought. There isn't a boy to be had. As it was getting dark, he came to a large building on the very edge of town. Petey was going by very slowly because his paws hurt. When he saw a sign over the door, the sign said, Orphan's Home. I know what orphans are, Petey said to himself. They're children who have no dog to take care of them. Maybe I could find a boy here. He padded slowly up the walk. He was so tired he could hardly lift his little paws. Then Petey stopped. He listened. He could hear music. He looked. Through the window he could see a lighted Christmas tree and children singing carols. Petey looked some more. On the front step of the Orson's home, all by himself, sat a boy. He looked lonely. Petey gave a glad little cry. He forgot about being tired. He leaped up the walk and landed in the boy's lap. Sniff. Sniff went Petey's little nose. Wiggle wag went Petey's tail. He licked the boy with his warm, wet tongue. How glad the boy was to see Petey. He put both his arms around the little dog and hugged him tight. Then the front door opened. Goodness, Dickie, a lady said. What are you doing out here? Come on in to the Christmas tree. Petey sat very still. The boy looked up at the lady, then he looked down at Petey. The boy said, I've got a puppy. Can he come too? A puppy? 
The lady came over and looked down at Petey. Why, she said, you're a nice dog. Wherever did you come from? Yes, bring him in. Come on, puppy, said the boy, and in they scampered. A crowd of boys was playing around the Christmas tree. All the boys rushed at Petey. They all wanted to pick him up. They all wanted to pet him. Petey wagged his tail. He wagged his fat little body. He frisked about and kissed every boy who came near. Can he stay? The boys asked. Yes, said the lady. He may stay. Come on, puppy, Dickie said. Get your supper. We'll fix you a nice warm bed, cried another boy. We'll all play games with you, said a third. Whoever would think, said Petey to himself, that I'd get 50 boys for Christmas. Sometimes we may not get what we think we need. But by God's grace, even in the idea of a puppy wanting a boy for Christmas, sometimes we get more what, than what we ask for. By God's grace. Thank you and good night.